Hey guys, it's Fawnski here, and today we're back in Elite Dangerous, and I'm going to set off on a very long uh, jump, or route. 35 jumps, going about 200 light years. Um, I'm doing this to get to the Sobek system, which is apparently where there's a community goal kicking off. Um, it's also up in Alliance space, I believe. It's close to Alioth and that sort of thing. Let me actually just uh, bring this up. There we go. So that's the system right there. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's, this is where the community goal is. I'm going to feel really stupid if it's not. But anyway, it's a good chance to um, get up into Alliance space and cash in those bounty vouchers that I've got and all that sort of thing. And just to, um, you know, maybe even start increasing my reputation with the Alliance and all that sort of thing. Given that I spend so much time in the Empire, it's probably good to... Uh, go around to some different places. But you can see I'm doing it on economical routes. If you're not aware, um, doing it on economical routes, you make far shorter jumps, but you use a lot less fuel. Whereas fastest routes, you um, you basically use, you jump as far as your frame shift drive will allow you, which for me is nearly 20 light years, but you burn through your fuel really quickly. So basically I would have been out of fuel after four jumps on fastest routes, which was like, 80, I don't know if I can even speak, 80 light years, I think. Um, so this is obviously a lot better. I do have a fuel scoop on board, but it'll take forever to fuel up. Anyway, so that's the uh, that's the route that I'm taking. Um, I'll have to either stop at a star and refuel, or just stop at a station and actually buy some fuel on the way, but that doesn't really matter. It's going to take forever. Um, obviously, I'm not going to show you the whole thing. This is just going to be some background sort of stuff while I ramble on about other things. But anyway, so let's head off. And if you can hear some... Um, loud hammering or drilling sort of sounds or anything in the background. I do apologize. My neighbor is actually having some renovations in his apartment and it is extremely loud. But there's nothing happening at the moment, I don't think. But anyway. So what I actually wanted to talk about though is um, some of the news that's come out over the last week. We've got a, another dev update as they've been doing weekly. Uh, and we've also got news about PowerPlay. Uh, and that's the, the beta date for PowerPlay has been delayed by a week. That actually came out a few days ago, that news. Um, the beta date was scheduled, I believe, for the 20th. Let's try not to run into anything as I come out of here. Um, but yeah, I believe it was scheduled for the 20th of May, which is, well, it would have been tomorrow or the day after, depending on time zones. But uh, it's now been delayed by a week. So, yeah, it's going to be a week later, um, basically. I think it's, this is just such a really big and complex sort of patch. I guess, um, I guess they want it to be pretty close to correct before they uh, release it. I mean, obviously there's going to be things broken with it being a beta, but there's no point releasing a beta if it's completely broken, like if it's unplayable, you know. It makes sense releasing it with some bugs and then getting, getting those, those fixed, but if they're critical bugs then there's no point releasing it, so sometimes delays are justified, even though people will say, you know, I'd rather just have it even if it's broken. Well, if you can't play it, there's not much point having it. But anyway, so yeah, so it's been delayed for a week anyway. That's the uh, that's the end result. It's um, a little bit disappointing, but as I said, it's a very complex thing, so these do have to be expected sometimes. Ooh, undiscovered system. What will we see? Fuel scooping. One object. Is it even Fuel occupied? Nope. Complete. All right, we carry on. So I have a feeling this is going to take a while. I don't. It's been a very long time since I've done. Fuel this many jumps. Normally I wouldn't bother, Frame but the problem is with the clipper. It's got that tiny little fuel uh, fuel tank. It's like, what is it? 16 tons of fuel or something like that? Which is pretty small. So, yeah. So other news about Elite. Um, the Mac version has left beta and it is now just part of the game. And that, you know, people playing on Mac occupy the same galaxy and everything as people playing on PC. As far as I know, there's no separation between the two. Uh, so that's pretty cool. That means if you've got a Mac or whatever, and um, you wanted to play Elite but you couldn't previously, now you can. So, yay for you. That's pretty cool. And like I said, it's um, apparently it's pretty seamless. Like There's no differences between Mac and PC versions, except for the obvious compatibility stuff. So you should be able to jump in with your friends on PC or whatever, and just play that like you're playing a normal game. And I think that's drilling on the walls. Hopefully it's not too loud. I can hear it through my headphones. Um, but yeah, I'm getting distracted now. God damn it! This is why I haven't made uh, any videos for the last couple of days. By the way, it's um, it's just been super loud basically. 
So the other thing that was a in the dev update that came out a few days ago, uh, some actual news about turrets or the way that turrets work. If you saw the video that I did, um, I don't remember how long ago it was, a few days to a week ago or something like that, um, where I was playing around with turrets, one of the issues that I had with them, that's a red star, uh, one of the issues that I had with them was that you couldn't really initiate combat um, while using the turrets, so you had to use a secondary weapon or something to actually shoot at a target and start the combat. So that's actually been, been changed, or it will be changed with power play, so that when you have the um, when you have the weapons in, I think it was target only mode, you can use it to initiate the fight, so you can control when the weapon fires, and that's pretty cool. They've also they're also changing it so that the fire at will mode isn't going to accidentally shoot at friendly targets or whatever, or allied ships, uh, say system security or that sort of thing. So it should only um, fire at hostile targets. And apparently it's also that if a friendly ship passes through the fire and gets accidentally fired upon, it won't count as a bounty or a crime. So that's pretty good. Um, they're, they're decent changes. I think that's the sort of thing that the turrets needed to be a more viable weapon. I'm still not sure they'll actually be, be very good weapons, but I guess as a as a defensive sort of weapon for um, for trading ships or whatever, rather than like you you probably wouldn't want to use it as your primary weapon, no matter what ship you're in. But as a defensive weapon for a trader, I think it probably makes sense. So yeah, that's that's pretty good. So how many jumps is that? Oh god, all that that was only four jumps, three jumps. I don't even know. This is going to take so long. Well, but yeah. Um, the, and this this thing, there really hasn't been much else about Elite over the last week or anything like that. Um, realistically, I think I think everything is just kind of in a holding pattern until power play comes out at this point. I mean, obviously, we've got the community goals still popping up and doing their thing. That's obviously what I'm headed to right now. Um, but yeah, in terms of actual news or changes or anything like that, I'll run the discovery scanner here. But in terms of anything actually new or different, we're really just going to have to wait until power play. Oh, that's a big system. What do we got here? Federation, oh, Federation and Empire. That's nice. So you could have, um, you could hand in bounties from both here. This could be one of those systems that ends up having a war between the Federation and the Empire as well. If they haven't already. Oh, there you go. So anyway, I'll carry on my jumps for the next... 10 hours, that's probably how long it's going to take. At least, um, at least I'm not going to run out of fuel and be stranded somewhere, I hope. If I do, I guess you'll find out. Well, actually, you probably won't find out, because I think I'm going to end this here. <laughs> um, I'm not sure how this has actually gone as far as videos are concerned, but anyway. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's, that's a bit of news about Elite over the last week, I guess. As I said, not a whole lot. Some interesting sort of stuff, but... Realistically, we're just going to have to wait until power play comes out um, to actually get, or at least the power play beta comes out, to really get stuck into the new sort of stuff and have some new things to play around with. Which, um, the beta, like I said, should hopefully be, um, I guess the 27th of May, if it's been pushed back by a week, unless they delay it again. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll just see what happens, we'll just have to wait and see. But so until next time, I've been Vosco, hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.